Welcome back to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to show you how to make total column as a first column in Power BI Matrix Visual. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for all such interesting topics in Power BI. With that, let's check it out. So here is a matrix visual in Power BI, and we already know that column total is always on the right side of this visual. Many times we get such requirements, like in this case customer wanted to see the total as a first column of the matrix. This happens mostly when there is already that kind of visual available at some other place and you get a requirement to do exactly same way. Power BI gives you a lot of formatting options, or even there are many custom visuals available on App Store, but many times such a requirements can be solved with little workaround on native visual itself. So let's solve this problem. We are doing little bit of formatting, and then we will apply our actual logic, which will bring the total column as first column in this matrix visual. Now, let's go inside Power Query Editor and create a custom table, which is going to do all the magics. Here, we are going to create a small tables with three columns like this. Here we will enter total for all the rows in first column, and will map to all the months in second column. This last column is just a helper column, which will be used to sort our first column to make in proper order. Now, in our data modeling, we will connect month column from date table to month column of this new month table. This many-to-many -many relationship will not create any ambiguity, especially in this case. We will now use newly created month in use column from new table as a column header. We'll also sort the column with help of order column, and we get our total column as first column of this matrix. This is mostly done. And we will also format the background and font color of this total column with help of two measures. We'll do this as the standard way itself.
And that's it, we have now created the required visual. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting solutions in Power BI.